In this video, we're going to show you where the brand assets are for the designs. Brand assets are things like your custom colors, your custom logos, your photos you use most frequently. Everything's been changed. So if you've ever seen any of the previous design videos, there used to be a button at the bottom of designs. Now they've moved it. So let me show you where that is. First, we're going to come to designs, and there's two ways to access these assets. You can either click on a design you're going to make, or you can actually come in here and click on the plus sign and choose any of these little designs. And this will actually take you into the design system where you see templates and you'll see brand assets on the right. Now, what are brand assets? Well, if I'm in a design, that would be my assets, like custom images I use over and over again, like your headshot like your actual photos of the area you use, like I use ocean photos, pictures of my app highlighting the fact that you can save money and download in our partnership with Nextdoor, things like logos. So the actual logos that you use over and over again would be able to be here, along with custom coloring that you would use for your branding under library colors, my colors, and you'll be able to choose and set these. So that's where we're gonna come into the brand assets. So first thing is color palettes. You can add now more colors than you did before. So let's say I had a custom red that I want. Well, let's just pretend it's that color. And there we go. Now I'll have this color to use over and over again in all of my designs. Now you also have the ability to get fonts from the web and use a font that you use in case you have anything custom font wise. The big one for me was logos. So I actually spent yesterday uploading new versions of the logos. I recently redid mine, and now I'm able to upload a logo. Here's the trick. If you want it to be an actual clear background, make sure it is a PNG with transparency behind it. That's why you can see these do not have a white background. If it has a white background, then you have to kind of put it on top of white background pictures. So these are some of the logos I want to use for my team, for my office, different things. You've got some smart text, which would be auto-filling text that you use over and over again, like save thousands with color mortgage, ask me how. Uh, it could be information like who am I, what is my team, my address, and download my app. Common text things you use over and over again. Images, this is the other big one. So here are some images I took. I've got some of the images that I purchased from Shutterstock and other services. I've also got images of my app highlighting some of the features like the buying and selling guide, zero plus and um, the built-in color covered in the app, the ability to download the app and search by neighborhood with Nextdoor, that stuff. And I'm actually gonna upload a new one. So click upload and you can get images from Google Drive, Dropbox, Photodexia, and even my device, which is your computer. So if I come here, I just took this image the other day and enhanced it of a home in my neighborhood. I'm going to upload it. That way, when I do some marketing for Victoria Park, where this image was taken, I'll have an image of a local neighborhood home that I can showcase. So I hit upload, and just like this, it is going to now add it to my library to use over and over again. You can also even store things like elements, maybe some stickers and things, um, logos you use often, some videos, more of that's coming soon, and even some physical files. So these are some things that you can do as well. Now it'll be in my designs, and anytime I access a template, I'll have them. So if I come back to one of my designs here, I'm going to refresh this, reload, and I should have that image now in my background under my assets here it is and i can now replace this image with one of the homes in my neighborhood of victoria park and just like that i'm now able to customize a design and access those logos the text and everything over and over again and that's it so thanks so much for watching this video if you enjoyed this video give it a like leave a comment below i'd love to hear from you and as always you can follow me on kb connect and youtube today